Hello everyone, today we are continue, continuing playing in Life is Strange. I think today we will finish episode 3, Theory of House, House Theory. I wish everyone just be in a good mood, get some eating stuff and chill out, like you know, and get a comfort pose. Be relaxed and uh, getting with me this chill vibe. So let's start. Oh my god, what is happening now? This is magic. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. So I just... So we return. Uh, in the past. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. I'm 18 years old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat, how? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Chloe is just so, so damn happy and carefree. Right. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom's hmm. away. Maybe we will I'll let find her this photo. I like know I've future. seen those pictures before. Yeah, so that's a cool snow dough. This dough was in him before the storm, by the way. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Chloe was so into manga. Rolling nice hair. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now no, I'll have an excuse no, to get no, a mocha. No, no, no. Be there shortly. Love you. He's... I have to stop William from taking his car He's today. Cannot... I have to go rescue yonder come. queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Mm. Where is this? Aha! 
You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Oh, so I have to wait until he got him, and only then can do the time. Aha! Runs. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy. That's yeah. Yep. Score. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Oh heck. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? Oh. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous oh, salmon shit. surprise with mm. chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No, 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 no. Chloe doesn't leave you. Okay. Crap! Mm. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Where are those keys? There is no Another water. dollar for the swear jar! Booking. You're bankrupting me! Maybe... Like this? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder <laughs> bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Okay. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. And what did we get now? What? Oh. This is changing. Okay. Sad mood. I don't see this photo before. Like with a cake. Interesting. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? <laughs> All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so much. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? No, right? In Do you want to go hit the girls' yeah. potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? What the heck? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? What? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Whoa. 
Yeah, the bus driver is not so bad job, after all. This chill vibe is totally good. At least for me, I don't know. But I wonder you too. break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! This time changing is really dangerous thing after all. <laughs> Cause no. We cannot lose a friend. Oh only thirteen minutes. Okay. So we are definitely come to the episode four. Our Our oh, choices? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't really remember, but uh, someone say David. Frank has a David's gun. Look at this. Frank don't get a David's gun if you trying to shoot him in the second episode. Some names, what else I can add to the Vortex Club? Okay, so let's... Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who definitely the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Oh. 
Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. It's totally Chloe, house, uh, you have a visitor. One not a big change. Has a so tra tragic change changes. The heck. Just to remember every choice you have to choose wisely because if you do something without wise you can have a bad consequences like being in prison or something like this It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. Mm. So, Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Looking really but good. But you could take some amazing shots. 
Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? Mm, no. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh, shit. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It was snow. Huh. So, in... Even in other dimensions, we have uh, consequences of our changes. Like a multi-universe. That's interesting. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Even more. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> None taken. Basically, where is that situation about Chloe? Why she have to be harmed, like hard, even in this dimension? In first, it's father. In second, it's total paralyzed body. What the heck? Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Yeah, sure. Mm. What is the water? I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Mm, what 
Watch 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 Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. <laughs> Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, y y with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy yeah, expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Ah, uh, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. Huh? I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like a butterfly thing. <laughs> yeah. So I've heard. There's the old Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, <laughs> but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Yeah, great, but get the uh, like lonely stuff, um, lonely mood. Like, you can travel. I'm Max not. is so cool. Ah, here's the DVD. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Oh. And they are fall asleep. Just me fall asleep? Wow. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. In the bathroom, yeah? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. Uh, They're so great. No, not here. Uh, hmm. Wowzer. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Okay, so we have to move to here, yeah? Hmm. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. What? You are screwed. There were... Oh, great. 
Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Yeah, that's for sure. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, fuck? but... I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys. Financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for mm -hmm. Chloe to see you. It makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs>